Good Friday evening and thank you for joining us at six. We're just one hour away from kickoff of this highly anticipated matchup between the ODU Monarchs and Virginia Tech. Now this is only the fourth ever meeting between the Monarchs and the Hokies, but the first time the Monarchs take to the field at SB Ballard Stadium as members of the Sun Belt Conference. We have team coverage tonight, starting with our sports director, Craig Loper, who is live at ODU. Hey, Craig. All right, guys, that's right. We are here on the field at SB Ballard Stadium. Guys, this is a sellout, and really this is what this game is about. Bragging rights in the Commonwealth, the marquee matchup in the state tonight and into the weekend, ODU and Virginia Tech. Think about all the ties. The coaching staffs know each other well. The recruits, a lot of them played high school football together. Players on the field I'm talking about. And ultimately, bragging rights amongst fans to brag throughout the year who wins, either the Monarchs or the Hokies. Now, when you think about this game, it's not really a rivalry, right? Just the fourth ever meeting between the two schools. Odell, Virginia Tech leads the series two to one, but there's been some magic in this game in 2018. Of course, the Monarchs upset the Hokies here in Norfolk, and that's really the biggest win in ODU program history. We spoke with the head coaches earlier this week about their anticipation leading up to kickoff. I don't think I have to give them too much external motivation. I think they know what's at stake. I think they know the opportunity that they have. And I think they know right now in order to have success, we've got to prepare. I mean, you know, I mean, that's a great quote from, from people, but you know, success comes from opportunity meets preparation. I think it's a heck of a challenge in Old Dominion. I know Ricky Ronnie firsthand. I know a bunch of his staff, and these are good football coaches that will have this team, uh, you know, well prepared for us. So more than 20,000 will be on hand here in the stadium, but there's also fans that will probably be taking in this game from outside the stadium. We're going to go live right now to Nathan Epstein at a few tailgates with some fans. Nathan, take it away. Craig, you know, back in 2007, this program was just worried about fielding a team. They didn't field one until two years later in 2009, and now it's big enough to where the governor of Virginia joins us, Governor Glenn Youngkin. So can you please, you, you're from Virginia. You understand how much this program has grown. What have you seen and what can you say to the significance of tonight and how important it is for the community these two teams well, meet? It is so much fun to be here in Norfolk at Old Dominion University, not just watching a great football game, but watching a football game against Virginia Tech. And to have two Virginia schools playing each other and to see all these people here enjoying it. This is what college football is about, and this is such a big statement for Old Dominion. It's also a great statement for Virginia because we have great Virginia players in this game as well, players from across the Commonwealth who could have gone anywhere, and they chose to play at Virginia Tech or at, or at Old Dominion. I mean, Caleb Smith, who plays for Virginia Tech, um, and, uh, and uh, there's a great uh, wide receiver, Ollie, Jen, Ali, Jen, Jennings. Annie, Ali Jennings, who's playing for Old Dominion. Two great wide receivers. We're going to see him go back and forth tonight. We'll see the ball in the air. Yeah. You're going to see this ball move up and down the field. And everybody across the nation is going to see great football tonight in Norfolk. Have you thought about your next career as a football analyst? Well, you know, I actually am going to let somebody else be the football <laughs> analyst. But I tell you, I really love football, and it's so exciting to watch it happen like this in Norfolk at Old Dominion. Last thing, you are a governor for all Virginians, both Monarchs and Hokies. But I'll ask you, I'll maybe put you on the spot. Do you have a prediction for tonight? You know, I think I, 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 I love all my children. I have four of them. People say, which child do you love most? I love them all. I'm just excited for a great game. And I think what we're going to see tonight is college football at its best. And this is a special football stadium that was specially designed for Old Dominion for this kind of event. And I just can't wait to see everybody have a great time. Governor Glenn Youngkin, yeah. thank you so much for joining thank us. You. We'll see what happens tonight at kickoff at 7 o'clock. Craig, back to you.